Harper Audio presents A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. Read by Roy Detrice. Prologue The day was grey and bitter cold, and the dogs would not take the scent. The big black bitch had taken one sniff at the bear tracks, backed off, and skulked back to the pack with her tail between her legs. The dogs huddled together miserably on the river bank as the wind snapped at them. Chet felt it too, biting through his layers of black wool and boiled leather. It was too bloody cold for man or beast, but here they were. His mouth twisted, and he could almost feel the boils that covered his cheeks and neck growing red and angry. I should be safe back at the wall, tending the bloody ravens, and making fires for old Maester Eamon. It was the bastard John Snow who had taken that from him, him and his fat friend Sam Tarley. It was their fault he was here, freezing his bloody balls off with a pack of hounds deep in the haunted forest. Seven elves. He gave the leashes a hard yank to get the dog's attention. Track, you bastards. That's a bear print. You want some meat or no? Find. But the hounds only huddled closer, whining. Chet snapped his short lash above their heads, and the black bitch snarled at him. "'Dog meat would taste as good as bear,' he warned her, his breath frosting with every word. Lark, the sister man, stood with his arms crossed over his chest and his hands tucked up into his armpits. He wore black wool gloves, but he was always complaining how his fingers were frozen. "'It's too bloody cold, don't he said. "'Bugger this bear! He's not worth freezing over!' "'We can't go back empty hand, Lark,' rumbled Small Paw through the brown whiskers that covered most of his face. "'The Lord Commander wouldn't like that!' There was ice under the big man's squash pug nose where his snot had frozen. A huge hand in a thick fur glove clenched tight around the shaft of a spear. "'Bugger that old bear, too!' said the sister man, a thin man with sharp features and nervous eyes. Mormont will be dead before daybreak, remember? Who cares what he likes? Small Paul blinked his black little eyes. Maybe he had forgotten, Chet thought. He was stupid enough to forget almost anything. Why do we have to kill the old bear? Why don't we just go off and let him be? "'You think he'd let us be?' said Lark. "'He'll hunt us down. "'You want to be hunted, you great mutton-head?' "'No,' said Small Paul. "'I don't want that. "'I don't.' "'So you'll kill him?' said Lark. "'Yes,' the huge man stamped the butt of his spear on the frozen river bank. "'I will. "'He shouldn't hunt us.' "'The sister man took his hands from his armpits and turned to Chet. We need to kill all the officers, I see. Chet was sick of hearing it. We've been over this. The old bear dies and blamed from the Shadow Tower. Grubs and Aethon as well. They're ill luck for drawing the watch. Darwin and Bannon for their tracking, and Sir Piggy for the ravens. That's all. We kill them quiet while they sleep. One scream and we're worm food, every one of us. His boils were red with rage. Just do your bit and see that your cousins do theirs. And, Paul, try and remember it's third watch, not second. Third watch, the big man said through hair and frozen snot. Me and Softfoot. I remember, chat. The moon would be black tonight, and they had jiggered the watches so as to have eight of their own standing sentry with two more guarding the horses. It wasn't going to get much riper than that. Besides, the wildlings could be upon them any day now. Chet meant to be well away from here before that happened. He meant to live. Three hundred sworn brothers of the Night's Watch had ridden north, two hundred from Castle Black and another hundred from the Shadow Tower. It was the biggest ranging in living memory, near to a third of the Watch's strength. They meant to find Ben Stark, Sir Waymar Royce, and the other rangers who'd gone missing, and discover why the wildlings were leaving their villages. Well, they were no closer to Stark and Royce than when they'd left the wall, but they'd learn where 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?